Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video of just another guy on the internet. And in today's video we are going to be reviewing the RMS Franconia made by JSTAR. And yes, yeah, so we're back with uh, another Cunarder. As you can see I've been kind of uh, going back and forth between Cunard and Whitestar. So for the next video I'm probably going to do something different. And yeah. So yeah, here we have the Franconia. This is the second Franconia. Um, now Cunard did actually uh, launch three Franconias, the first one in 1910, this one uh, in 1922, and the last one in 1956. So yeah, this is the second Franconia from the 20s. And yeah, it's a really nice build, um, lots of detail. And actually, at the time of recording, this is um, actually less than a week old. So it's a very new build, as you can see. Um, and it was built by JSTAR, who is part of the, I guess I would consider the Kronos team. So you know this is going to be a really good build, um, as you can already see from the exterior. While we're talking about the exterior, I would also like to... Um, point out that you know if you're unfamiliar with the Franconia you might notice that the exterior is a bit similar to Aquitania's um, and you're also once we go into the interior you're going to see a lot of similarities between it um, so the Franconia is pretty much a scaled down version of the Aquitania uh, which makes sense since the Aquitania was only launched several years before this ship so of course you naturally you are going to see a lot of similarities so yeah and yeah so exterior looks good um you know you got the correct colors and everything you know the mast are the correct color you know in the last video i mentioned you know that cunard had this kind of like sand color for their masts uh, which you see on many of their ships including queen mary so if you ever visit the Queen Mary, you will see a very similar shade of this. And you do also see this on other famous Cunarders like Lusitania and Mauritania. So yeah, and you can also see the lookout's nest, which has a little cover above it. So, you know, very nice. Um, you've got one funnel with the correct uh, you know, color, you know, Cunard orange, which you really see on ships at this time, or the Cunard Red, really. And of course, you got flags here. And you'll also notice I'm using the newest version of Minecraft as well for this. Of course, since this is a new map, so the old versions will not work with this. And yeah, so I think it's about time to start exploring the interior. So we'll begin on the bridge here. Of course, you got, you know, more slams here well kind of oh actually they're right down here okay so yeah bridge wings um vents very nice vent design here as you can see um lots of detail yep so yeah here you have the actual navigating bridge as you can see there is a darker kind of tone here with the dark woods which you see on the bridges of uh of really Mauritania and even the Queen Mary so and there's also a little window here which is interesting um, but yeah a lot of detail as you can see very nice here so yeah just going around to the other side is pretty much identical um, and yeah you have stairs back here leading up to the compass more vents as you can see a lot of vents um, of all different sizes oh yeah crew only and so yeah that leads to the bridge you do have the chart room which has the window looking into the bridge as you can see and you do have the captain's chart room as well and that's all that's really up here um you do have a stairs leading down to the officer's quarters which we'll be getting to shortly which i think we should actually check out because there's really not much up here as you can see for the other areas all right yeah I think we should actually just 
go straight down here. Um, so yeah, Crowley. So you got like, I guess really the light tower, which you see on other Cunard ships like Campania, for example. And you got kind of like this observation kind of area. It's not enclosed like you see on Mauritania and Lusitania. Um, later on the Queen Mary, you'll have an entire uh, area known as the observation lounge. So, of course, which will come about 10 years after this ship. Um, and you have the officers' quarters here, okay, and you can see that the style here is very similar to Aquitania's, including some of the actual rooms here. Alright, so you have the chief officer there, captain's sitting room, very nice, and yeah, you can see the Aquitania style, uh, very noticeable in this room here, kind of the blue flooring and, uh, white walls, and here's the captain's, uh, private bathroom so yeah pretty much the same as the other side you get the idea here uh, so yeah just uh, lavatory so yeah here's what lavatory looks like and yeah you have the stairs um, coming up from the from the bridge area they come down here and you have another set of stairs going down to the actual passenger areas um, so yeah pantry third officer so yeah pretty much the same style here same furniture fourth officer here got a door leading out and yeah you got the lifeboats here which are as you can see very detailed very nice I must say and yeah you got stairs leading up to the bridge of course and yeah I think that's pretty much it so and I really like the lifeboat David design here you know, not just using one, you know, type of material, using many different and many different colors here. Very nice and realistic. And yeah, so you got a skylight here, which overlooks the main staircase. Again, we'll be getting to that very shortly. And you got the actual elevator gear for the, the elevator. And you got two staircases going down to the actual staircase here. Um, you got the wireless operators for their actual cabin and you got a pet store here so kind of like some kennels here um, decking as well and you do have the lifeboat stacked up on top of each other here got the funnel here with big vents as you can see and they're also very detailed so those lead down to the boiler rooms and back here and here's the actual Marconi room yes yeah, so you got uh, more operators got a store and the Marconi office here lots of details you can see you know for the scale that it is you know I feel there's enough detail in here and you got the uh, switchboard here emergency dynamos mm, and where does this lead to oh it's probably like a little locker so yeah and as you can see we've got the use of some of the new materials that came with the uh, newest version of Minecraft over here you got windows overlooking the lounge and back here is the engineer smoke room with a window overlooking the actual first got smoke room And yeah, more windows, and that's actually uh, it for the superstructure. The only thing left here for this deck really is the docking bridge. So yeah, there you go. Um, so up next we can uh, tour a deck. So we'll be getting into the actual passenger areas here. Very exciting. And you can also see that kind of the uh, front face here of the superstructure is also very similar to Aquitania's. And you do also do have the plaque here of the construction company. So yeah, you got some promenades here with, you know, details here. Looks like drains here, you know. If, it would, if it's raining, the water would come through here and collect through here. Alright, so you got an entrance and we're in the actual passenger cabins. Again, very similar to Aquitania's here. 
you do have some, you know, the occasional lavatory. Um, and yeah, these cabins don't actually have private baths, as you can see. So it's just really cabins in that area. Yeah, staterooms. And then here are the actual public areas. So on the port side, you have the writing room. And the starboard side is the card room. And here's the actual writing room. Very nice, good amount of detail. You know, there's photos of these rooms, so we know what they look like. And we do also have deck plans for the actual, how the furniture is laid out. So, very nice. So yeah, you got some bookcases here. You could come and write some letters. Pretty much serves as, a, as the same function as what you see on earlier ships. Uh, as you can see, a very modern design here. You know, glass here and windows. And you do have the card room, um, which is pretty much identical to the ring and writing room. You do see the card room on the third Britannic of White Star, so which was actually launched just a few years after the ship. So, and fireplace as well. So, as you can see, it's uh, these rooms are more of kind of like a homey vibe. You know, it's nothing over the top. It's just you know, one story room. You know, nothing too crazy. Um, so yeah, as you can see, this flooring is also similar to Aquitania's um, main staircase areas because here we are at the main staircase for first class, as you can see, and you do have an elevator here. So yeah, A deck, and there was a photo taken right here. Um, and then the actual companion way, you do have the library here, so you could come here and um, rent a book. Uh, attendance, you know, for the actual library. And you do also have a candy store here, so very nice. And of course, you got some attendance for these kind of shop areas. On the Queen Mary, of course, in uh, its uh, main staircase, there were, you know, some shops in kind of these areas. So this is where the design originated from. And you do have doors leading to kind of this vestibule area where there's the garden lounge, and this was also here in Aquitania, except it was just one big uh, garden lounge. Here, there's two, one on each side, so. And then back here leads back to the promenade here. So yeah, and you got windows looking into the actual garden lounge, you got stairs leading up to the boats here, and there's two on, and there's one on each side, as we've seen. And yeah, so let's see, crew only, so you got kind of like a crew staircase, windows looking into the other, you know, garden lounge here. And then here's the actual lounge. So yeah, pretty much a scaled down version of Aquitania's, as you can see, kind of the same floor and style here. Of course it is smaller, but it does have kind of like this area here with a dome and some windows, so yeah, very nice room. Uh, even got the paintings, got the piano, all the furniture here, fireplace. Very nice. And yeah, and then back here is just kind of like a short hallway going into the smoke room. As you can see, it's similar to um, actually Lusitania and Mauritania, where there was just a short hallway connecting the lounge and smoke room. And you do have the bar here and Another entrance to reach the promenade. Uh, as you can see, the promenade does run the full width here, except the uh, garden lounge kind of like cuts through, it kind of interrupts. So, as you can see here, uh, yeah, more stairs as you can see leading back up. Very interesting style here, as you'll see in this hallway and the smoke room. Um, it's got kind of like a country cottage kind of feel. And what's very interesting is that on the Britannic 3, it also kind of had the style here. And it's uh, kind of the main style, first class and second class. So, and yeah, I, I really do like this room. It definitely has that, you know, smoke room kind of vibe to it. You know, got the fireplace here, you know, kind of private, you know, sitting areas here. And the other side here is very similar as well. 
but you do have a staircase leading down to some cabins. So, yeah, very nice, very nice room, you know, both of what it would have looked like and here in Minecraft, definitely a very nice representation of it. Got some stained glass windows, and that's it for the superstructure of ADAC. You just got some promenade space and some staircases leading down to B deck. Up here, you just have some elevator gear for the second class area for the second class elevator. And you got just some more promenade space with lifeboats. And then back here, you got some crew areas like the hospital, staircase leading up to the docking bridge, and then here's the actual hospital, and there's also some hospital tenants in there. So, all very accurate. Up next, we will tour B deck, and we have more passenger accommodation, and here you can see you actually have these, uh, deck houses on the forward section and this is actually third class here as you can see you got some entrances here very similar to Aquitania's where there are just the entrances up here there's no public rooms and here is just an entrance to the uh, lookout's nest so yeah then up here is just open deck space so yeah, here on B deck, uh, you have a very narrow promenade here, as you can see, not a lot of hole, not a lot of space here. Another entrance, and yeah, it's pretty much the same as right above us. You got more cabins, you know, similar to Aquitania's. And over here is kind of like a suite here, so it's got a private bath and everything. Gentlemen lavatory, uh huh. And just more cabins. Not going to spend too much time with that because they're all pretty much the same. Back in the main staircase, it keeps, it keeps coming down. And you can see it's very similar laid out to Aquitania's main uh, forward staircase. Except Aquitania didn't have the elevator running through the well. So yeah, then yeah, you just got some kind of suites here. With a very interesting style here. And then, yeah, so you got more entrances leading out to the promenade here. For some reason, they're kind of like separate here. And then back here is, yeah, just more cabins. So I, I really like this one here. I like the whole atmosphere of some of the cabins here. Very nice. And, and these actually have private baths. So, some of the cabins have private baths, but not all of them. And this looks like that uh, main crew staircase. So, definitely want to check out some of the crew spaces because I'm not familiar with them. I only have a deck plan of first and second class. I also definitely want to check out third class while we're at it. But we will check out, you know, some of these rooms here. for first and second class. And yeah, here's where a staircase comes down from the smoke room. So yeah, all the same style here as Aquitania. You do have the barber shop here, which can be accessed from either side. Okay. And then yeah, some more rooms. And uh, these have a shared bath. So it would be perfect if you have like four people in the party and then you have these two rooms, and you have your own uh, bath that way. And then you have back here out in the promenade, so that's the end of the superstructure. You have stairs going back up. So this is all first class up until this point, then it's just second class. So here's our first real good look at second class. As you can see, very similar style here, especially at the flooring. I'm um, not sure what this is, so, but. As you can see, a lot of detail. And here's the highest point of the staircase and elevator on B deck. So here you have the lounge. I also uh, really love this room. You know, some of the uh, 
you know, other ships, you know, that have, like, are really elaborate, you know, some of the German liners and the Normandy, they're nice, but sometimes it's nice to kind of have this, you know, kind of, you know, easy going, um, you know, kind of home vibe, you know, kind of feel like you're at home here, you know, it's nothing spectacular, so, um, and yeah, so then you just have a staircase going down, more promenade space, as, as you can see, more detail, vents, how you got stairs leading back up, uh, only for crew, gotcha. So yeah, a lot of detail, cargo hatches, vents, winches, and even got like the life preservers here. That's always a really nice detail. Back here is actually the second class, well really garden lounge, I think I'll just call it. Um, which second class also did receive on the, um, on Aquitania. Um, and Aquitania they also got their own lounge, and their, my bad, their own gymnasium, but I don't think on this ship they actually had it. So, but they do at least get like a little garden lounge, just like first. So yeah, and that actually wraps up, uh, what was that, B-deck? Right? So, now let's go down to C-deck here. So yeah, like I said, you just got the third class entrances here. Uh, plenty of ways to access it, as you can see. Plenty of doors. And yeah, this is, this is all very similar to Aquitania. You now I got the doors here. And more cabins, as you can see, these are... And kind of a different style here and yeah i got the blue flooring got stairs leading down for very easy access between all the decks yeah laboratories for first class only that's interesting oh so these are alternate cabins uh purser's office bureau yeah so this is actually for the uh, bureau here um, as you can see, the actual companionway here on Sea Deck is smaller than on the other decks. So, but you do have the per the bureau. So, for any type of information you need, um, you would come here. This is the main kind of uh, help center here. Um, any questions you have, you would come here. Doctor consulting room, and the actual doctor here with a cabin that resembles the first class ones, and just some more kind of crew areas here. Uh, Chief Steward, uh, crew only, staircase, and yeah, so you just got more cabins <laughs> here uh, with uh, Bibby cabins, as you can see, which you see on the Olympic class. Uh, emergency exit here, got the portholes here. Uh, I always found it interesting how like baths would have like kind of like portholes looking into these types of areas um you see this on like the empress of ireland emergency exits so yeah this is actually now second class so and here's a second class barber shop here main staircase as you can see it's very similar to the level above so yeah staircase continues you have the second class smoke room here which is actually kind of opposite because usually on many ships I see the smoke room being on a higher deck than the lounge, but here's kind of reverse. So, and you can see that the smoke room is in a very similar style to the first class one. You do have a bar, of course. No smoke room is complete without a bar. A fireplace and lavatory, of course. Um, actually, let's take a better look at it here. Yeah, you know, urinals, wash basin, promenade space for, yeah, so this is still second class. And then got a gate here separating it from third class. But yeah, now you have a little bit of third class at the stern, which, you know, on other Cunarders, is mostly at the forward section. You know, like on Lusitania and Mauritania. Um, so yeah, second, third class entrance. Inspectors, not sure what that's all about. Um, so yeah, you just got some boring blah blah crew areas, hoist gear, baggage hatch. There's really no point checking those out. 
And then, yeah, you know, you got some stairs leading up. And these would be pretty much for crew, because this is third class, and this is second. Alright, looks like the sun is setting. Very nice. So now we're getting within the actual hall. Um, how about we do it a little bit differently? Let's go through a gangway. So this is one of the first class gangways here. We're in some cabins here, as you can see. Main staircase, as you can see, um, down on D-deck. And you do have a window looking down into the dining saloon. Very nice. And on the port side is actually crew spaces. Slash crew. A crew and a third class. And you got a gangway here. And you also have some large side doors, as you can see. So if we go down here, you just have more. First class got the musician balcony, so they would play music here. Yeah, more. Um, got some alternate cabins, okay. Stewardesses, staircase. And this is where first class terminates, and we're now in third class, pretty much, slash crew. Yeah, got some crew accommodation here. Lavatories, staircases. So there are no actually, there aren't any cabins for third class, well really, on this deck for the most part. It's pretty much lavatories and staircases. Uh, machine plants. Yeah, more gangways, you know, for third class here. Yeah, more staircases. Crew accommodations. Cruise galley. Yeah, lots of detail as you can see. Looks very good. Typical crew areas. So yeah, just kind of finding my way around here. Got some small crew areas. You know, if you uh, actually download this ship, you uh, you can definitely spend a lot of time exploring it. Of course, not going to go into every single um, area of the ship in this video. That would be like a two hour long video. Um, and then yeah, I got more crew areas on this side. Got the general room. Fourth, third class. Very interesting style here, as you can see. More kind of machinery. Uh, that goes back to first class. And we do have the smoke room. Uh, you know, same style as the general room, of course. And even got a little bar. Uh, printer's accommodation. Got the printer shop. Leading crew. And then this is back to first class. So, uh, more alternate cabins. Crew only. Yeah, just really going to fly through these because these are pretty much the same, you get the idea here. And some of these have private baths. Uh, got the musician balcony for the second class dining saloon. And then more alternate cabins because we should be back in second class now. Yep. And then yeah, another emergency exit for a crew. So kind of like Scotland Road on the Olympic class here. Yeah, got some hospital areas, female wards, uh, male ward. So yeah, back to second class. More staircases, more cargo hatches. Got stairs leading up from the kind of the main staircase in the aft section. And you do have kind of like this little promenade space, which is uh, covered up, which is, you know, nice for third class. Um, so hang on this, okay, so steward entrance, steward's at the stern here, got stairs leading down, I think that about wraps it up for, for D-Deck here, I don't think there's really much I want to check out here, woman lavatory, uh-huh, just a bunch of lavatories here. Alright, so we have, uh, let's see, is this E-Deck now? I actually kind of lost track, this is not good. Yeah, Franconia, I got the nameplate here. 
the ceiling is quite high here. So we appear to be in a third class. And a little bit of crew here mixed in. Is this like an actual, oh, so there's an actual hatch here. So yeah, you know, typical third class here. Actual accommodation here. So, you know, you have staircases, at least one staircase in each of the actual compartments here. For easy access, of course, in case of an emergency. Mm hmm okay, so, got kind of like this main area here. And then, yeah, we're back in first class, and this is the dining saloon. As you can see, it does not go any forward than this because of third class here. Got a lot of tables, as you can see. Very nice dining saloon, as you can see. It's similar to Aquitania's, but it's not totally the same because on Aquitania, you had like these little hallways here with railings. Here it isn't. So you just got some paintings. It's still a very nice uh, dining saloon, I must say. So lots of detail in here. And of course, this is where the staircase comes down. Um, of course, you know, you have the window up here. And then here's the actual floor to the dining saloon. And you got crew only, so that leads to the galley areas. Uh, the staircase does still continue down. That goes to the swimming bath, uh, swimming pool, squash court, gymnasium. And this is also crew only. So as you can see, um, the crew area is also similar to Aquitania's here. Um, bar, fruit room, third class kitchen. Lots of detail. Yeah, these uh, these galley and crew areas always require a lot of detail. So just going to give you an idea of what these look like here. So third class staircase. And this is, uh, yeah, we're back in second class. So this is the second class dining saloon. As you can see, it also has kind of like a little dome here. Um, as first class does, of course, it's smaller and less grand. And it has the musician's balcony here. Still a very nice room, I must say. Um, and very accurate. So there's the dining saloon. Got kind of the last of the cabins here. And they come in all different shapes and sizes. And here's actually the purser's office for second class. Got a clock. And this is where the second class uh, main staircase terminates, as well as the elevator. Because right below us is actually third class. So yeah, just another way to get back in here. Another auxiliary switchboard, which I've actually kind of seen throughout the tour. There's a lot of them here. Uh, second class purser, yeah, his cabin. And alternate cabin, so like for second and third. So if there's a higher demand for any of the classes, then they would be accommodated here. Emergency exit only for use of third class. And just some crew spaces back here. Yeah, just more stewards. And staircases. There's down to stewards accommodation here. Very nice. Really like the look of this. Everything looks accurate and nice at the same time, so. Um, let's see, how should we go about doing this? So yeah, more third class on F deck here. Very similar to what we saw on the upper decks here. Really like the uh, design of the staircase. So yeah, just more cabins, and then got a store area at the front. It's gonna just gonna fly through these. Uh huh. Cabins and back in first class. Actually, these are some of the alternate cabins. Yeah. The flooring is you know kind of what you see on first class. This is all very interesting. 
and you got an emergency exit. And yeah, so this is actually where the staircase terminates. Um, one more level uh, right below the dining salon. And yeah, this is also where the elevator ends, of course. And then yeah, so um, you actually have one kind of small staircase leading down to the, uh, well, first the swimming pool, which I absolutely love the look of this pool. It looks really good, actually, you know, both here and uh, in real life. Uh, very nice. You got the diving board uh, seating here. Really like this pool. And of course, you got changing stalls and lavatories, of course, so just take a better look at the pool here. Very nice. Yeah, just a bunch of changing stalls here. You can see it's kind of like raised here, so kind of really lowered. The pool is also pretty deep. And I also see you're using the uh, new blocks here. Yeah. See ladder. And of course, you got a bar here. Very nice. Uh, and further down, um, you actually got the gymnasium for first class. So it's uh, what's interesting is it spans two decks. And it actually doesn't have any uh, portholes, as you can see, because it's actually underneath the water line here. So this whole kind of area is underneath the water line. It's, it's pretty deep down in the ship here. Which is why it kind of rests on top of the boiler rooms. And also over here is a squash court. So, and this area is kind of similar to what the Olympic class uh, squash court here. This also requires another, you know, staircase going down to it, to the actual level, you know, the actual floor. And yeah, that actually uh, wraps up first class, so. Um, yeah, and back here is just crew spaces. We got the actual boiler rooms going on here, as you can see. A little bit of other crew areas, electrical store, yeah. Here is the third class dining saloon. So, and this uh, staircase also kind of terminates. It's one of the main stairs here. Yeah, emergency ladder. So yeah, again, kind of the similar style as the smoke room and general room. Watertight doors, pantry, you know, for uh, serving food. Yeah, just more staircases. Looks like kind of like crew staircases. And uh, wrapping up third class accommodation here. Not much else to really say about these. And then, yeah, so we're going down within the actual hold now. As you can see, you do have the classic uh, hall colors for Cunard with the white stripes separating red and black. Okay, so these uh, cargo holds actually have lights in them, so it's actually going to be easier to see what's going on here. So, But then again, there's really, they're not too interesting here, as you can see. Yeah. Yeah, more cargo holds. Uh, okay. So just some more like storage areas. Is this like a grain silo? I've seen this on many other ships, so just curious. And then what's going on over here? This is all very interesting. Got like some valves here. Huh. Like the use of the new blocks here. Watertight doors, and here are the boiler rooms, which, yeah, these would be um, oil burning, is my guess, since really by the 20s on all new ships, you pretty much had now oil burning um, boilers. And a lot of former uh, coal burning ships, they were transitioned to oil burning, like uh, I know Mauritania. So yeah, John Brown and Company Engines, uh, Clyde Bank Scotland, and yeah, so engines look really nice as well. 
Although, although I'm not really an expert on them, so, yeah. Um, let's see, got the switchboard room, lots of detail. Got all the different gauges and stuff. And these uh, appear to be some food storage areas. Beer and minerals. Um, yeah, so ice room. And more cargo spaces here. Cargo hatches. And this should be the... This should probably be like the mail room, because usually on Cunard ships it's at the stern. And also it is our mess. So I'm definitely betting that this is the mail hold. And just like some water tanks right underneath. Um, so yeah, we got, uh, let's see, only two screws, all right. And yeah, so there are four bladed. And yeah, guys, so there it is. There's the Franconia um, by Cunard, made by JSTAR. Um, so yeah, very nice ship, guys. Um, definitely recommend it if you like Cunard and some of uh, their ships. This one is definitely um, one worth exploring. You know, I, there are a lot of places I didn't explore, but you know, mostly because they were, you know, just the same pretty much, you know, kind of boring. So, but I did make sure to visit all the main areas, you know, like the dining rooms and swimming bath and gym. So, and yeah, so yeah, very nice ship. You know, I've probably said that like five times already, but it is. These guys put out some really amazing work. Um, if you want um, an accurate ship, um, your best bet is going to, um, to these guys, you know, um, Chronostar, um, Creepercraft, the J-Star, um, yeah, and I will definitely, uh, keep, um, reviewing and checking out more of their work, so yeah, and so that's gonna be the end of the video, guys, um, thank you for watching. Um, if there's any way I can improve these videos, um, please do leave them in the comments below. Um, if you like this format, or if perhaps I should change it somehow. Um, so yeah. And that's gonna, that's all I have to say. And I will see you in the next video, guys. So, bye for now.